These storms and folks are already having to deal with the heat. Uh, they're really concerned about it. They're feeling it right now as it's already catching it up for some folks. There's no doubt about that. Some people just really concerned about it. Our Olivia Leach, she was out there today spending time with folks just trying to cool down and she spoke with MedStar to help you plan for those sizzling temperatures ahead. We knew it was coming, but even this Dallas native was stunned by the heat this weekend. I wasn't ready for the actual um, summer summer. You know, it was kind of creeping up. But Brianna and her daughter were staying cool at the fountains at Clyde Ward Park today and staying in the shade. Because if I take it off, it's really, really hot. And when I put it back, it feels a lot better. Bye. Some families spent the day at the Lake Highlands North Recreation Center's splash pad hoping the cool waters there could help them stay cool. It's so hot. MedStar says they often get a spike in heat-related calls this time of year. They've already had 110 since May 1st. And temperatures like this, heat exhaustion and heat stroke are a real concern. So heat exhaustion is when the body begins to have heat fatigue. People will be sweaty, they'll uh, still be conscious, their skin will be be cool, a little bit clammy maybe. If left untreated, heat exhaustion can turn into heat stroke, which could be deadly. MedStar says when the temperature soars above 90 degrees, you should remember these tips. Always drink plenty of water during the day. Stay in a well-ventilated place with a fan or air conditioning and wear light or loose clothing if you do go outdoors. But the best plan is to not go outside if you don't have to when the weather is super hot. Stay indoors with air conditioning, especially if you have underlying medical conditions. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, in just 10 minutes, a car can heat up by 20 degrees. So never leave your child unattended in a car and make it a habit to check your entire car before you leave. Just figure out some ways to remind yourself that your kids are in the back of the car, especially for new parents who aren't used to um, summers in Texas. With temperatures expected to hit above 100 degrees this week, MedStar will be on high alert. Get ready now and prepare for that now. In Dallas, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas. Looks like a lot of fun in downtown Dallas earlier.